Lovely neighborhood. Right. Uh, What in the fuck? You okay? Lilith has concealed the Tenth Circle from the Ancestor's eyes. The hell is this? Lilith. Got a bad feeling, V. Better look around. Cultist shards. Some shards in the world containing hidden in behind the are have hidden information behind data encryption measures. To decrypt the shard first, either open it through notification, you acquire it, or in the shards tab, journal. Then select Crack Security to unlock its secrets. It's time. Encrypted. Hey, look. Huh. Grimy. V, we got company. Read the shard. Something about this ritual went wrong, seriously wrong. Place is covered in guts and blood. Must have had something to do with uploading the brain into the net of the straddling the, the border between life and death. 
Only the girl who jacked in couldn't handle it. She went psycho and started tearing into her tombs. I thought women were more resistant to cyberpsychosis. Anyway, at least we have her alive. It's true women are less likely to get cyberpsychosis. All the better we have her alive for more research. I thought nothing could surprise me anymore. Boy, was I wrong. Wonder what she heard through th those cables. What caused her to crack. I'll keep looking into it. In the meantime, I'm sending you your cut, bonus included, property, developer tossed in token of their gratitude for freeing up the building that Maelstrom was squatting in. Not bad, eh? Looks like this was supposed to be some trip to the other side, in a tub filled with ice and the blood of the innocents. Maelstrom never ceases to amaze me. And disgust. Don't think there's anything else here. Okay, next thing. Can go do that. Get that. Do that. Then go to my apartment. You're free now. You can go.
Blood type A B R H D plus. Before I do this, let's see where this uh, blood leads. It's locked.
So we broke the code. 1987. Should work. Now it's unlocked. Okay, next thing is... Uh, do I go there? Now nah, let's go do that. Then maybe that. And then go slowly towards the apartment to feed the cat. of war.
Right. Let's see what's here. He's alive. Amazing. Fear the beast of the city. Our psycho's out cold but alive, transferring you the data I gathered. Looks like it was an ex-merc working for some core. Soon as he stopped being useful, they tossed him out on the street. The guy kept his combat implants, had PTSD, stopped taking his meds. You can fill in the blanks. Thanks for going the extra mile. So a badge friend of mine just went over his data. Guy's head was a mess, must have taken four times doses just to make it through the day. Eventually the core cut his health insurance, the cash dried up and then the ticking time bomb exploded. But was it really from the implants alone? Who the hell knows? Either way, your eddies are in the air. Thanks for taking care of this. Watson. Roger dispatch. What else is you? 
That guy has a leg day, true. True. Can I ring the, these guys again? Hello? Busy. Hello? Please help! Police! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm in trouble again with the police! <laughs> I know where I'm gonna strike before I do it. Typical. Knew I'd say that. You're for a fight. Which one of you's my guy? Me! Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins, which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond, but they wanted to be closer, stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sinks, and now they're, well, me. me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together, everything. Ah, oh, too bad I can't do, do this one. Really do everything together? <laughs> 
I guess it fucked you two up. Not you two. It's just me. And where's the sportsmanship? Sheesh. Come back when you wise up. Be waiting. Fine, but we're raising the stakes. Fair. See, no problem with that. So, so can, can we, we get, get started? started? Show me what you got. like your brother or hungry for more that ain't my brother oh, that's me Jesus what's so hard to understand here your winnings good haul don't worry there's always the next fight. Stop talking to yourself! Listen, out of curiosity, you guys can read each other's thoughts. No, no. Same person, same, person, same, same thoughts. thoughts. If that weren't the case, I'd be on schizoid meds. Incredible. Well, it's good to see you transition from circus ring to boxing ring. Give me a break. Hey, sure the Ripper didn't swap anything else out? Felt like I was fighting against four left hands. Fuck you! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's see what uh, Coach Fred has to say. Heard you whooped those twin freaks' asses. Good work, kid. Keep it up. Let's do that one again. <laughs> Can I say that again? Hey, sure the Ripper didn't swap anything else out? Felt like I was fighting against four left hands. Fuck you! <laughs> uh. Awesome. Uh, no, that one not yet. I'm gonna go get the card and then go. Game is then go feed the cat. I have one attribute. I think I want intelligence 10. Then from there, I can focus on something else. Vehicle quick hacks. Gonna try that. And more damage on my vehicles for now. If not, I can remove that perk whenever I want. <laughs> Floor it. Ooh. Let's floor this one. Hey! 
Amazing. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Amazing. 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 Night City. Love it. Floor it. This one is the magician. The fool. The fool is everyone, including you and me. Each step he takes on his journey feels like stepping into the into a brave new world. Ultimately, the journey will change him, but as the card shows. He is a trustworthy lad whose tireless hope drives him towards his goal. The Magician The Magician is the card of self-confidence and adopting the two situations through intellect and sheer will. The Magician is a schemer who always has one last trick up his sleeve, who despite everything manages to stay afloat and remain in control of his own destiny. The Emperor the Emperor represents patriarchal control and is pleased with the authority and power he possesses to shape the future. The Emperor makes the rules and enforces them for the common good. But prestige has its dark sides. The Emperor is dominating and ruthless and will climb over a mountain of bodies to achieve his aim. The Chariot the chariot is always charging ahead despite being pulled by its steeds in opposite directions. The rider who steers it constantly reigns in the light and dark sides of the soul with the help of reason. To ride in the chariot is to experience highs and lows, ups and downs. The world. The world lies at the, at the end of the fool's long and winding journey, wiser and more world weary. Then he started out. The fool faces a moment of reckoning. Some of us accept where our journey has led us to, while others embark on a new challenge. One thing this world is certain. You can't have it all. Next thing is... Apartment. Thank you. 
yesterday. Jillian Jordan with M54 News, and this is your local latest. The NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and, in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level can also do this. Uh, hey, V, about to start. You, uh, you got to take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. One sec. Just a sec. Be right back. Got to feed the cat. Hey, hey, no pushing. There's enough for everyone. Guys, going to feed the cat, finally. Girl. What an awful place. I'm Thank saving you the you. second time from abusive boyfriends. Stop it. So we fed a cat. The egg is still there. For your concern let's start this rodeo <laughs> can't just yet not till you get in the range go on set up chop chop How many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right. Uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh... A, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. I'm getting worked up. Ready? Three, two, hey, hey, the hell is that? The hell are you doing with that double barrel? Said small caliber only. Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. And that's why you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight, now! Fuck, June. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. <sighs> Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. <sighs> All right. Three, two, one. Go, go, 
go! Halfway there, V. Going good! The hell was that, Lisa? Get your glasses? Look at good feet, don't fuck it up! Ah, nothing like the smell of powder and hot lead. Stop! Everyone stop! We're done! First place, V! Second, Rudy! Rest of you Bush League punks, learn to shoot! Out of my sight, now! Thanks, Wilson. That sure is pretty. Uh-huh. Yeah. See you around, Wilson. Till next time. So, we got this iconic weapon. A power pistol. Tier 3 plus. But I'm gonna go back to my... to my chaos. I spy a happy new gun owner I hope gonna ooh I got 3 plus uh tech sniper so let's sell this one Maybe check on the cat. Know what the worst thing is about this play? Uh. So this one, what does it say? Nothing, doesn't have a... Um... Doesn't have any flavor text. I'm gonna leave it in the stash. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? 
Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. Make sure you're you gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just wanted to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. <laughs> you too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. This about Andrew. They, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. And I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. Just... <sighs> A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? <sighs> Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. <sighs> Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last living record of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Just gonna you read go. your mails, don't uh, mind me.
Bye, Barry. <laughs> it's you. You talk to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? For cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, get back here! Find Andrew's niche before talking to the cops. I can do that. But first... Let's do this one. And maybe do some other stuff on the way. to relocate there must first find a sponsor from among WCS affiliated companies. Following a 20 year employment period within the WCS, visa holders can earn the right to permanent residence, a marriage license, and a single... So, are we gonna talk about yesterday? I'm standing here. The sun. The sun symbolizes success. It is a card of freedom, renewal, and a bright future that lies ahead. The sun also represents truth, for its light will always pull back the curtain of shadow that hides the world's secrets. It also represents greatness and splendor. Akuakata, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Sandra is the lady we rescue at the start with uh, Jackie. Remember, V, it's unwise to engage in idle time. I'm sometimes known to be rather impatient.
Come and see me in my little parish when you have a spare moment. We can sit and talk. Well, well, well. High Priestess is a card of mystery. It shows how all our secrets hang by a delicate thread and the struggle between common sense and intuition. The High Priestess symbolizes the cold, calm waters, as well as the mysteries hidden in, the, in their depths. for the premium package. Can you? Oh, you should. Just please be aware of the children here. They do tend to steal. Uh, whoa! Cat's never gonna believe I was actually here. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan. And they call you... See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of them. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you're here. Oh, and another thing, if you wanna come size me up, look me in the eye, whatever, swing by, I'm here. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to meet you.
we got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall? V. Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit! You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm hmm But something I'd lay by his casket... That it do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. It's Montserrat Wells. The Coyote. Si. I need a special delivery. Beer. And even dozen cases. Sure, yes. Ten and two of the ginger stuff. Tequila. Ay, fuck it. A dozen cases, too. See, lemons and limes to match. I need a special delivery. Okay, same Beer. dialogue. And even dozen cases. Guitar pick. Consider yourself invited. Mm. See you then. It's me. I'm having an ofrenda for Jack. Uh huh. You can. I see. <laughs> oh, that was a different dialogue. 
It's Montserrat Wells. No coño. I need a special delivery. Beer, and even dozen cases. They have so many of these cool classic games here. So many, that's so cool. Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set. What, you, you two didn't get that far? He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. 
Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there, yeah. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. <clears throat> Locked. I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Found it. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey. You all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Nice still. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Jack. Pure and simple.
True memento, this. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Hmm. Mama Wells wouldn't want be me there anyway. Fitting. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What'd she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V. It's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. So, Vic brought uh, gloves. these two interesting gotta remember those names
I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olo, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up and beat the shit out of us both. <laughs> it's half my fault, half his. And we hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, well, we're eating dinner at Mama Wells. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof, and, and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird.
I could do all of these. Let's do all of these. A Haywood kid with a hell of a drive. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. He feared no one and wasn't afraid. He lived life to the fullest. Rest easy, Chum. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chum. I would like. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful ofrenda we gave him. I'm gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Me too, cabron. Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after well, uh, you die. Well, I should mingle oh, with Chicago. Sure. We'll start in See you later, V. Not today. Pour you another? For Jaquito? I see the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. They's what kept them going. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Poor. For Jackie. Amen, brother. I'll have another. Have as many as you want. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells! May he rest in peace. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Aye, right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. She's a strong woman. Hey. Are you all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. 
I just need a sec. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. Jackie, uh, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us? From up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it. I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. So, by sending uh, Jackie to his mom, we get this quest. And by getting the quest... We also get his bike. Before you fucking coward. And before, if you were to start a nomad path instead of Corpo or Street Kid, you could even uh, improve this bike. Oh, what a guy! Jack is gonna kill me! And also, if you leave and come back, you'll find Jackie's iconic gun.
Every headshot temporarily increases crit damage and burn chance. The next time you equip uh, La Shingana Dorada, you gain extra ammo equal to the number of headshots. How's Mama Wells holding up? Physically, never better. On her feed from morning to midnight. <laughs> Coyote's practically sparkling. But, uh, mentally... It's hard to say. It's not like she keeps it written on her face for all to see. How well do you know Jackie? The guy was a good chum. Used to drop by for a round or two. Or ten. <laughs> Tough guy exterior on the crack after numero tres. Big dreams in that head. World's already poorer without him. Ah, B. Anything interesting happening in the area? Interesting. Around here. <laughs> Not one single thing. That's why the kids, they join gangs. No jobs, no future. And where they end up? Behind bars, or in the ground. This neighborhood died a long time ago. How do you feel? I lost my son. How am I supposed to feel? I, I'm sorry, V. I shouldn't have. I do. It's just... When I see him that day, in that limo, all covered in blood, you know what I wanted to say to him. Te metiste en una gran problema, Jackie Wells. <laughs> As if he was 14 years old again. Just coming home from a fight with the other kids. <laughs> He's like... My brain was trying to protect me was afraid would happen. It's okay, Mama Wells. I... I can't talk about this now. Okay? Did you ever talk to Misty in the end? I did like you said. I invited her over for dinner. And? She's so skinny. Who would have thought? I know what she looks like. That's not what I'm asking. Hmm. She's a little bit uh, eccentrica. Said my home sits on a natural energy source. But I think I know why, Jackie. She's a nice girl. We exchange numbers. I'll have a drink. Ahí viene. Okay, what next? Let's see. Could do that one. And some NCPDs on the way. got the wrong number seem to recall the last time i saw your face it had my fist planted in it. ah you know what's past is past what's more important is the sweet gig i got you quick and easy buck swing by the coyote and i'll tell you about it first round's on me well what do you say yeah fine see you there same old v 
I always said you were smart. You say a lot of things, Kirk. Pure bullshit included. Oh no, V, not this time. This time everything's just like it's supposed to be. Best not stall too long on this one. Later. en el infierno
Okay, let's see what this guy wants. Before I go... Anywhere else? 